Ma'am? How? Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Cousin Calico's Ranch. I'm raring to go. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Orchid squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Eight.
I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Lou. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One rutabaga soda, please. One soda on the house. Snip soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. No 
Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. 926. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. 926. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Wood. Zero. Nine. Wood. Two. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Confirm it! What's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. <laughs> It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest Rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be Rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for Rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well... I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! This should be useful. How did you do that? That's my special... Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. And purple and pokey. It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? 
Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure! In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks! Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, No, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Look, Luther, another purple sea urchin. Boy, somebody... <laughs> Yikes! Doesn't he have anything better to do? Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Ah! Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No. I don't think so. Seems to take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. <laughs> I 
can't believe how quickly he's eating this stuff. Are you ready to start? Here is a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Those are fickle fit locking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Fickle fit nuts are all currently available at one lo Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. 